I understand that a lot of people do not want to spend too much money on their routers or Wi-Fi mesh systems. And that is why today we're going to be taking a look at this router right here from Ray. This is the AX3000 and this bad boy is currently priced at $100 on Amazon, which is really, really cheap for Wi-Fi 6. So today we're going to be testing the AX3000 to see if it's a good Wi-Fi mesh system for you guys. Before we set it up, let's talk about some of the specs and the features that this router has. Right off the bat, it markets this game fast mode, which basically allows for low latency over Wi-Fi, which is something that a lot of people might care about if there's a lot of latency in their video games. It has five antennas for uninterrupted experience, and it says it goes through walls. It has channel width up to 160 megahertz, which, which should give you a more smooth experience wherever you are in the house. And speaking of the game fast mode, you can actually have an independent SSID just for gaming. It's a 5G connection to the router itself, and you can use only that for gaming, so nobody's using that same Wi-Fi entry point. So that is really, really cool in my opinion. And it also has mesh support, so if you buy more than one unit, you can set it up to be a mesh system around your house, wired or wirelessly, which is really, really cool that way you have two devices with five antennas each which will give you a really really good mesh system without further ado let's set it up do some wi-fi tests around the house and multiple points my house size is 3,000 square feet so i'm not sure what the coverage is going to be like so let's set that up and test it in the box if i can open the box okay in the box you get the power cable which is not big which is nice you get an ethernet cable so you can connect it to your modem your card about their different products and support warranty card which is nice and basically how to set up your router super easy and the unit itself which looks pretty slick and very very slim uh, the antennas feel very stable they rotate around up like this that is nice it reminds me of like the nighthawk or whatever the asus version of that is i like the design a lot because there's a lot of holes in the front and the bottom for intake and there's also two mounting holes so you can put it on a wall like this you want to mount it on a wall and you don't want to have it sitting on the back you get a few ports and options you get four ports one of them is the wan so it's your main input for your modem and the other ones are just ethernet ports you get the power input and a reset switch and as well as the mesh system switch so if you have more than one unit you click the mesh system to probably wire both of them at the same time you have more than one unit connected so without further ado let's go upstairs and set it up and see what kind of speeds we can get for testing the wi-fi 6 i'm going to be using my rog laptop which has the capability to use the wi-fi 6 at the most speed we're going to be testing it on the laptop and i'm also going to be doing tests on my phone this is an iphone 14 pro max uh, and obviously this is not going to be utilizing the speeds as much as the laptop but these are the two devices i'm going to be testing the wi-fi on so without further or do let's take this and set it up and so i just finished setting up the router right there it took about maybe five minutes total it was super easy turn off your modem turn it back in plug it in and set it up through the rye app i set up the ssid for 2.4 and the 5 gig one and i saw also the gaming one which is really really cool that you can have a dedicated channel just for gaming but anyway this is my laptop that can do a wi-fi 6 connection so i'm connected right now to the 5g band over here on the router let's do a quick internet test over the wi-fi on this laptop all right, as you guys can see, we're almost hitting my full speed over Wi-Fi, around 850, almost 900 right by the router, which is incredible. That is really, really good speeds for a $100 router. Upload is gonna be crappy because obviously it is uh, Xfinity. It's not a, a symmetrical connection. Over the laptop, those numbers are incredibly good, but the laptop has the capability to connect over Wi-Fi 6. So let's do a quick test on my iPhone. Okay, a speed test over the iPhone 14 Pro Max on the five gig channel. Let's see what kind of speeds we can get on the iPhone. Oh my gosh, I think I saw 700 in there. That is incredibly good. But yeah, I ended up around 500. That is what I expected from the iPhone 14 Pro Max because of the antenna that has in here. But those numbers are really, really good over Wi-Fi. I'm gonna do a couple of tests around the house and I'm gonna take it downstairs into my gaming setup to see what kind of speeds I get over there. Okay, now I'm downstairs in my gaming setup, which is in the basement. There's about three to four walls between me and the router and a flight of stairs. So I'm pretty far away from the router right now. So let's see what kind of speeds we get down here in the basement. I'm really interested to see what the coverage comes to after this. Oh, wow, 700 down. Okay, that is <laughs> that is really impressive, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect it to be this good. This is almost the same speed as upstairs and, and I'm pretty far away from the router right now, so that is... Okay, switching to my phone to see what the speeds like are down here on my iPhone. Wow, still getting 500. 500 over iPhone, downstairs, uh, one level apart with stairs and a lot of walls and doors. How is this possible? This is almost as good as my $600 or $700 Wi-Fi mesh system. It's crazy. If I'm being 100% honest, 
This blew my expectations when it comes to Wi-Fi capability at $100. I mean, the speeds are really, really good. The coverage seems really, really good. I tested it around the house, upstairs in the bedroom, downstairs in the backyard, all of those places. It, it turned out really, really good. And the features in the app are really, really cool. There is parental control, which gives you a list of devices so you can block and disable things. There's guest Wi-Fi. There's IoT Wi-Fi, which is for smart devices. So if you want your smart devices connected to a different SSID, you can do that too. There's also ability to do priority devices. So if you want more devices to have more speeds, there's not much else to say other than this is very, very impressive. Right now, it's $99 on Amazon. Obviously, I'll leave the link down below in the description if you want to pick up one of these for yourself. But this is highly recommended in my opinion. You don't want to spend a ton of money, but still have good internet over Wi-Fi. So uh, massive thank you for Raii sending this unit out. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments and I'd love to respond to all of them. Other than that, have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye.